Alright, I should probably do this. And we're gonna be live in three, two, one. Oh shit. Okay, you heard me blow my nose. That's cool. Yeah, I'm real good at this. Hey, uh, it is 10 a.m. on June 2nd, Saturday, 2018, and we are making indie games. What are we doing? I don't know, because I, uh, I didn't figure that out. I figured out I would just hit the stream button and then figure it out. So when last we left off, I think we were looking at profiling. It turns out when I'm not streaming and also not rendering, the game runs at a much better frame rate. So um, <laughs> I kind of had a bit of a handicap for the last thing. Um, we are in fact running at uh, 60 FPS at times, 30 FPS at other times. We are in rate, which is good. Um, after that, I kept trying to think about what I wanted to do for the UI. I know I need to change things. That's hard. I still haven't figured that out entirely, um, so, uh, I decided to hide from my problems and make a bunch of marketing materials instead, which were fantastic, so I'll do, um, there's gonna be a little marketing push probably on Thursday, and, uh, I haven't actually, like, most of what I've been doing lately has been editing marketing materials and getting that stuff together for Autodesk, which is just like a time-lapse video, it's not even a big thing. Um, and as for actual game stuff, like, I have not done much. Uh, and I'm really hungover today, uh, and dehydrated, and unmotivated. So I figured I would just hit the stream button, and then we would jump into figuring out what to do here. And I think I want to open up with something easy to just kind of like get back into making shit again. Not that like it was fun to make the marketing materials, but I need to get back into making stuff again. There's been some cleanup and stuff, but nothing serious. So, yeah, I still don't... Like, I know this is bad. I don't know entirely what to do for it. We could do that thing Ichiro suggested in that one stream, where we just kind of blink to the next level. Um, I still don't know what I want to do for when you're, like, here. Like, what do I want this UI to actually look like? I have no idea. That's gonna... I need to pause figuring out how to animate the stand and everything until I know what I want this UI to look like. So I'm kind of waiting on that. Um, what I think I'm gonna work on, because it'll be like fun and easy, is just this opening bit. There's things here I can do that are just super unimportant, but at least they're fun. Which is like figuring out what this main menu is. I know I want this to be something where... Uh, like, we started working on this kind of opening cinematic. Oh, the light is bad. I could keep going with this. Work on this transition, because that'll be fun. And there's two ways I can work on this. I can work on the model for the basis, or I could work on the animation of him flying in and out and a lot of the effects that happen here. Or, like, what this looks like. So that's going to be a biggie. Also, side note, why isn't... Sorry, give me a sec here. That's supposed to... Yeah, okay, it does. Good. I think that should go slower. Alright, we gotta get back into making shit. Also, now that I've done time lapses of my Twitch videos, I'm hyper aware of exactly all my facial expressions and how glum I look when I fucking stream. So that's weird. Alright. Let's do this. There's actually a couple things I want to do. Like, I haven't really figured out. I need. I changed it so that the city's only back here, and I might even get rid of that, because the city motif is something I moved away from. So I need to figure out what I want the bottom of the sky dome to look like. 
I don't really have a plan there. I need to figure out what I want. Like this, I don't want it to look like a torn piece of paper. I want it to look like it goes on forever. It's just we stopped drawing it. How would I do that? Let's do that. All right. That'll be fun. Let me figure out how to set this up so that I'm not blocking this. Okay. Okay. Sit and won't see anymore. That's not your role. This is the thing that has it move up and down during the opening cinematic. Um. I want the alpha to be tied to world space, so. Let's grab somewhere else where I'm doing that. somewhere else where I'm doing something similar. I think when I do the spotlight in the character material against the walls. So find the wall material, the blotch material will work. In this I say spotlight in the material to match the player position. Hey, Curry Bakla, what's up, man? Tip 
Actually, I think a way you can get around this is to say... How big do I want this to be? and five hundred and go to about yeah, let me make sure you even understand what we're doing here. If I recall this throws away all the UVs. Oh shit. I don't want it tiling in X and Y. That's actually not what I want. I need a new thing. What I want is that to have this thing that's flapping in the wind and at a certain distance in Y it just kind of feathers off. So I literally don't want it to texture in, in the up and down axis, whatever you're going to define that as here. I guess X. So I'm going to make a new thing. I'm going to make a new thing. So I'm going to delete this comment. Oh, it's just hot as shit, man. I got no AC in the basement. <laughs> it's not too bad yet, though. Might walk down to the farmer's market later. We got the hottest point of the day. Don't think I want to be down here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, gotta make a new thing. Okay, so this is XY texture non tiling. Oh, I don't know how to make this. Okay, get the absolute wall position. separately. Okay, yeah. I might make a new function for this, just because there's so much shit in here. Let's make a new function. So I can think. This is C. So I don't need that. Okay. Let's just start trying shit here.
I see. So this is if it's if the plane's facing this way or that way. Okay. I will still need that. Okay. my test. Maybe this will just work. This will not just work. I can dream. What? Let's use this function. So that's doing nothing whatsoever. Fascinating. Well, I mean, it's not tilings, and I'm not specifying where it starts, am I? So, gotta do that. Texture offset for world Y.
something. Um, okay, what if you're always a pig? I just need to be able to see what I'm doing, so let's just have this drive a lerp between this and black. Multiply by negative one. So I have a random multiply by negative one in my other material and I don't know why. So let's just do that here and see if that fixes all my shit. That would be upsetting, but you know. Whatever, I guess. Upset for what? Why? Interesting. So this is supposed to be a vector two? Hmm. Yeah, also I'm putting in a constant into a vector two. This should be... Okay. I guess I'm misunderstanding this. Okay, so the Z is always here. The difference is your 8400. And... Both of these... Get multiplied by negative 1, which goes to 2. up considerably. So this E needs to be... I don't know. Just higher. What's up, man? <laughs> if I was motivated, I wouldn't need to stream. <laughs> I think that's the difference. Streaming to force myself to work, otherwise I just won't. <laughs> that's what unmotivated looks like. In my defense, I'm dehydrated and it is rapidly going to become boiling. So. I'll take this over the winter. It's all good. Hmm. I feel like, oh, I see. Right. Negative one. Right. So, okay. here. I want to rotate this texture, which I have an input for. I don't know if it'll work. Let's find out. 90 degrees. I wrote this function ages ago. Alright, yep. Still works. Good, good, good. Now let's get it up. Oh, I don't know. 
like interesting. Sorry, I'll show what I'm playing with. So scale is a vector two. Two hundred units. Closer to what I want it to be. Put this the uh, wrong one. Wrong one. That did nothing good. You know what? Let's not, let's not worry about scale yet. We'll worry about that later. That's a later problem. Whenever your stream starts, I boot up and I get to work as if I was slacking. Good. Get to fucking work, Michael. We got shit to do, man. Games don't make themselves. Until, you know, we got the machine learning thing totally figured out. And then games will make themselves. And according to Dan Lowe, they'll make themselves to be as fun as possible for each given person. A personalized game dev. Made by the machines. Then the machines will make games for other machines. And then no nobody will need us anymore. premise here is that I want it to be world aligned in this, what is that, world Y, and not world aligned in X. I don't know if that's possible, but I feel it could be. So let's just see if it could be. Which is not amazing right now. World aligned texture Y only. Come on, use it, yeah. So I'm lurping between these two based on if the vertex is facing this way or that way. X. Okay, I need to, uh, I'm just gonna quick and dirty figure out which one I'm doing here. Constant, just give me black. going down for the flag is this one. So multiply. I'm taking got your wall position X C Offset in the texture. Here's where we go. Scale UVs by center. Oh no, that's fine.
see what happens. seems to do anything. That did it. Yes, okay. All right, we got it. We got a texture that manipulates. Yeah, okay. All right, oh good. There's all kinds of crap we can delete then. So this just needs to exist. Don't need this. This. This goes away. Oh shit, I'm missing the wrong material. I'm playing with the rotation. I should be playing with the scale. Whoops. That's what I wanted. Kinda. I mean, it looks like ass, but you know. I can fix that. Baka. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna hook what we had into the color into the opacity and see what we get. All right, well, achieved what I wanted and I hate it. That is okay. Let's see what it looks like when it's moving. <sighs> I guess 
Yes, you're welcome. If I love it. <clears throat> This still isn't what I want it to look like, though. Let's get Photoshop open. Hey, Ninja, what's up? thinking at one point is I need to outline it. How do I want to outline it? What do I want that to look like? Yeah, for the initial, um, when I was initially playing around, like, learning materials and stuff, the way I learned, because I'm like, I, I don't have a background in working in materials at all, and I knew I would be bad at it, so I bought, um, spent like 30 bucks and bought a bunch of random material packs one of them was loose and I use loose like uh, his functions for world space materials is how I, I started from there and I just kind of like kept pulling them apart to create all the various world aligned materials in the game it was a really good jumping off point I liked his stuff I really only started off with one of his materials I like can just edited it heavily I'm glad you like it, Tap Crash. Oh, it's like a constant... I don't know. It's one of the last pieces of the puzzle. I know in my head what I want for everything except for one thing. The level select. Which I think I have figured out. Like, I like the level select here, but in all honesty, I don't. Right? Like, I don't know what color I want these ribbons to be. I don't like the colors that they are. I don't feel like it. it's easy to parse. Like... It's not... Somebody who has no idea what the game is looks at this and has no idea what the hell they're looking at, right? And there's this idea that... Here, I'll walk you through it. Like, at this point I'm too far gone, like, I can't change it. But, uh, yeah, when you select a ribbon, you can kind of see the ribbon highlighted, that helps. You can kind of see, like, this is the whole... Uh, 
This is a trajectory I'm on. This is busted. You should see at least one unlocked here. I don't know what's going on there. Um. Oh no, that's right. And there's this idea that if you take certain side paths, uh, like say you, there's two different ways to win this level, and if you choose the hard way, you can go here and win this hard level, and you're basically on a side path. I don't know how to message that to the player. It's incredibly difficult to message. And even harder is like, I have no plan yet for this. Like this, I think I could just do when you mouse over each page. Um, so like, say, what is the level select for the combo levels? It's not going to be what I have right here. This is temp, right? Um, so is it going to be when you mouse over a page, it highlights? That works here, but that does not work here. Where I have like nine different levels you can choose. I could just have nine pages. I have ten. Ten pages you could choose from. So am I going to put ten fucking pages on this? And how do I... That's going to be crowded. <laughs> to say the least. I mean, I could. That could just be the solution. And then you choose one of ten different pages. How does that work if you have a book? Like, I wanted this to be something we were flipping through, right? You have to do these in order. You do the first one, and then the next one, and then the next one. I wanted to have different kinds of menus. Like, one would be a book. One would be a scroll that comes out. One would literally be like a scroll. Like an old-timey scroll. But the level select has to be consistent on all the combo levels. And there's gonna be Five. I don't even have anything over here for these two. I also haven't made those yet. <laughs> I'm really falling behind here, guys. Uh, Luz is great. I picked up his toolkit a while back. He's always quick to respond to questions. Oh, no shit. That's great. I never even spoke to him. I just kind of downloaded his shit. It was a really nice... Like, it was clear. It's simple. I like his stuff. Star Fox 64. Oh, well, yeah. It... God, you really threw it back with that one. It's like, there's gotta be a more modern example, man. But yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> Star Fox did do that. Oh, man. That takes me back. You just hit me in the nostalgia. <laughs> wow. Page. All the pages is cleaner and easier to understand. You lose. Yeah. Just have all the pages. I mean, I could do that. I could find a way to make there be ten pages here and make it look cool. Probably. The other thing is, this one is weird because there's, at any time, you can choose between these four, right? I mean, it could be, like, there are pages that are stapled. <laughs> you go from one to the next to the next. Because once you get up here, these are different. These are extremely difficult and they need to be done in this specific order. Like, if you start this branch, you need to do this one before you do the next one before you do the next one. Same thing with this. Just because, like, they sell slightly different concepts. They have different problems. God, I haven't played these in eternity, either. I hope they still work. That's bad. That should have unloaded. Hmm. <laughs> it's like, I hope they still work. Oh shit, they don't. Uh, uh. Well, the whole point... Like, you have to do each of their solo missions. And once you, you, all of them have finished their solos, then you get up to here. 
where you unlock the real combo levels. And these are kind of optional side stages along the way that also unlock. Like these are special combo levels just between the accordion and the drummer. Hey, you guys want to hear something special? I gotta first pass the music for my musician. He'll kill me if he knows you heard it because he's still working on it. I've never had like somebody composing a song just for me before. This is fucking amazing. Like that I like I'm paying someone to make me music. I don't know, it's just it's fun. Anyway, you're gonna hear it anyway. He'll just be mad. Cause it's a work in progress. Don't judge Mitchell. Mitchell's great. you play through the game we layer on different tracks. This is the accordion once you've finished all of her tracks and you're in the last couple levels. This is her theme. It's like a Disney song, I love it. Oh, but I didn't direct the Flame of the Flood uh, soundtrack. That was all Chuck Reagan. Like, we gave him a word cloud. Um, I guess he did. Yeah, that's true. That was also the same. I just love this. <laughs> he's so shy about it. He's like, I have to talk. He's got like people he's talking to. <laughs> like he's, like, it's not done yet. Let me read this. Hold on. Right now, I included the worst sounding instruments version. I want to see how you feel about the tune in general. Please don't judge it yet, as you can. Oh my god. I bought some really nice libraries that specialize in making really good sounding jazz music. Unfortunately, it's all new. It's been giving me trouble. I'm still working. He's like talking about bringing on a contractor to help. I'm like, Mitchell, dude, this is brilliant, man. <laughs> oh, this is so good. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. I couldn't be happier. I'm kind of over the moon about that. But I can't be like... You don't be too excited. You know, like you gotta be difficult to please or whatever. That's what you're supposed to be, right? But like, I can't wait to hear it when it's done. Keep going, Mitchell. But I'm like, holy shit! <laughs> this is already so good. I'm so excited. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait to get the stems and start playing around with like mixing and matching them. I was thinking like in the combo levels, is there going to be like one theme that changes slightly when you switch between the different characters, that sort of thing? It's just kind of got to play it, you know? But yeah, that's going to be cool. A little sneak peek things to come. I gotta get my shit together. Mitchell's crushing it. What were we doing? We were looking at this. Yeah, okay. So, I want an outline. I'm, what I'm trying to debate now is like, should I have some sort of like...
Mm. So you need something. And I can't decide it based on the normal direction. Once we get the stems from Mitchell, I think I will have him. Like that music will just be on in the background at all times. Until I lose my mind, but I think I could listen to that on loop quite a while before I lose my mind. It's quite pretty. background but also I feel like just having a block of color is kind of boring maybe I just leave it like that uh, doesn't gonna do is duplicate the entire thing and then make a black version that's slightly behind it and offset slightly because that would be ridiculous but I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty tempted to do it now here's what we're gonna do instead okay with it. I want this to move slightly differently than the other one. But still, should I have the same number of verts? Should be similar. Yeah, I'll do.
this, oh yeah. Do is get. I'm gonna rename this, I guess, curtain material. Perforce. Yeah, when I was a kid, I had an N64. Donkey Kong 64 and Mario 64 and all of the others.
It's Mario 64, my favorite game ever. Not really. I liked playing video games back then, but not like. It was more something to do with my brother and stuff. The first game I remember, like... Everyone in my family is a computer person. They're all programmers, right? Uh, and I was like, rebelling. Like, I hate this. You're all terrible. I don't want to do this. So I, uh... Uh, there's a lot behind that, but uh, I remember the first time I took the family computer and I just quietly moved it to my room and I played video games all night and it was Final Fantasy 7. That was the first time. I was like, I need this. <laughs> this is great. I played the shit out of Final Fantasy 7. I think that was the turning point. And then in like high school I lost it. That was back in the PS2 era. A lot of the PS2 games I was super into. Yeah. I remember when I was in elementary school, uh, I went up, I handed in a, a essay, like one of those early essays that you do in elementary school, and I handed it in, and it was uh, typed up on a computer. Like back then, like on the corrugated paper and all that, like back then computers were, you know, shittier. Uh, and I was the only kid in the class to do it, and my teacher basically said she wouldn't accept it because um, kids will never learn penmanship and they'll never learn how to spell properly not spelled properly, she's like, kids will never learn penmanship if they, you know, cheat by using a computer, so you're not allowed to do that. And my mom was furious. She went up there and she fucking lost it on that teacher. My daughter will be sending you everything. Like, my daughter will be writing her essays on the computer and you will accept them. And she's just like, I was so mad at my mom for making a scene that I just refused to use a computer for years. Like, for most of elementary school. <laughs> That's fine. I I already have too many friends, very much. We could just be normal friends. I did like Mario 64. I didn't hate it. It was great. It just wasn't like... You know how there's some games where you think back and if you hear the soundtrack, you kind of smile? Like, there's some games that just kind of... Like... They hit something. They hit you right in the nostalgia. For me, and none of the N64 games were that. They were fun, and I liked them a lot. But they weren't like... Like, if I hear the Disgaea soundtrack, I'm irrationally happy, right? It's cool. We can like different things and still be friends. It's a loud remarch. Kirby Crystal Shards. Yeah. I think that's part of the reason why they had that, uh... You could go see an orchestra of, like, famous songs by famous composers that were all video game music and just that was brilliant whoever came up with that idea is genius because it just hits you know so I've got the music takes you right back there yeah oh no actually now I think about it Pokemon might have been up there for me too I was in middle school what happened first I think Final Fantasy 7 came first Pokemon was definitely on the list, though. I remember I caught them all in Pokemon Yellow, and my friend was like, how's Pokemon Yellow different from Pokemon Red? I'm like, oh, well, when you first start the game, Pikachu follows you around. That makes it a better game. And he was like, oh, let me see that. And he goes, and he starts a game, and he fucking saves over my save file, and I lost them. Like, I had caught them all. All of them. Even missing no. And he fucking saved over it. That was the last... It's the first time I lost a friend because of video games. I was so mad. Don't even remember that kid's name. Some today I'd still probably want to punch him in the face. I caught them all, man. That was an achievement when I was a child. I even bought red and blue and traded with myself because I didn't want to admit to anybody else I played Pokemon because that would be weird. Like, I literally played all three, but I bu caught them all in the Pokemon Yellow version. I had two Game Boys just for this purpose. It was excessive. So, what are we doing here?
<laughs> That's correct, Raymarch. SNES will always be the ultra nostalgic system. I agree, N64 had some good stuff and crazy for the time, but a lot of it doesn't hold up. Yeah. I mean, the early 3D doesn't hold up as well as the 2D does. To a barrel roll. You know, a lot of people talk... People will talk about the games from their childhood, but there's nothing like that distant look someone gets in their eye when they talk about the first multiplayer game they played. Like, have you ever talked to somebody who was around during the Ultima Online days? It was like, first online game was Ultima Online. Uh, like, have you ever seen a grown man cry? Because that's basically that experience for some people. Or, uh, some people it was Diablo. Like, the first time you... I, I don't know what it is about those games, because I guess it was a bit before my time, but, like, you ever want to see, like, a grown man cry? Find somebody that was around during Ultima Online and just start talking about it. Like, that game hit for some people. <laughs> oh, shit. This is a wall of text. I have to share this. I've been struggling with my dynamic camera. It zooms and moves and stuff, and the formula for doing that was a pain on my side. I had a light bulb moment from your stream of being able to use a spline that is bent perfectly along the curve I want and slide the camera object along the timeline. Wouldn't have thought of it till I saw you working so much on splines a while ago. And now it works perfectly. Fuck yeah, Michael. Cool. Yeah. If you want to look into the um, different... You could have also asked about it. Camera splines are a pretty common thing. Um, like, there's different things you can do where you'll have splines throughout the world uh, that the camera will affix to. So, a common solution for certain games is you'll have a spline through the world that the camera attaches its position to, and it always aims at the player. And when the player moves from... Uh, basically, you always find the um, the spline that the player is closest to, so you get have multiple splines, and the camera will just kind of like lerp from one spline to the other and reattach. That's It's a very complicated system, but systems like that I've seen quite a bit to be effective, specifically for... Uh, Kind of not really 2.5D or top-down games. That's common. Certain places in like the Uncharted games, for instance, I think they they kind of magnetize their camera to splines to always keep it in a pretty nice spot. <clears throat> anyway, I'm glad you solved your problem though. That's cool. Gravy. <laughs> Very much just said Diablo and started crying. That seems reasonable. For me, my first online game was World of Warcraft, and that did take over my life significantly. Uh, significantly. I don't regret it, but I don't think it brings me a great deal of joy either. In the same way that, like, Ultima Online or Diablo just bring people this weird, like... Like, you look in their eyes and there's love there or some shit. Yeah. You didn't get the Ultima fans until a while. You know who I will never get are EVE Online fans. Like, there's something to that game. There's something there. And it's probably someone's gonna find a way to make it mainstream and then I'll get it. It's just too niche for me right now. Like, it's interesting reading the stories about EVE and, like, how people come together in this other world and like you know form basically tribes and fight and this this and the corporate takeovers and all that it's like it's interesting to read about but like it's so boring so boring every time i boot it up i boot it up like three times it's like oh i'm playing a spreadsheet and the day-to-day -day is so monotonous this is not escapism it's not good it's just kind of happening um, maybe the millennials will love it, because it's kind of something that sort of, like, you boot it up and it plays itself, and you kind of go do other things. But that's not what I want in my entertainment. I don't know. I don't get it. Sorry. Diablo isn't even, the, I think, the acceleration. Yeah, I mean, 
Very much. You usually start with an idea and then there's a ton of polish. You also have the dithering when you move between one spline to another. Like, make sure that uh, when you're... So you always move the camera to be on the spline that's closest to the player, but obviously within a certain threshold. Um, or just... There's so much cleanup that happens with cameras. Camera is such a huge part of the player experience for a lot of these free cam games. Or you get like, in, in actual free cam games, you have the nightmare of like, how close does the camera pull into the player when the camera's being, like you don't, if the camera goes through a building because the player's turned, you pull the camera in tight on the player, but how tight? Like, do you do World of Warcraft where you pull all the way into the character and you can actually see like, clipping through the cheek or like, what do you do? Um, for free cam, free cam's a nightmare. They should pay you monthly for playing Eve. Yeah, no shit. It's like a story generator or some shit. Oh, anyway, I said dithering. I just mean like, if you're, say like you're ten units from this spline and ten units from this spline, and you're just kind of like walking back and forth real fast, then your camera's just like, psh, 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 and that's shitty, right? Like, so you need to have some amount of give there. It's just like it just takes. There's always going to be edge cases and a large amount of polish with your camera, no matter what solution you choose. Unless you're doing like a literal top-down game or like a 2D platformer, then I guess fuck it. <laughs> I played the shit out of World of Warcraft- Oh, sorry, Warcraft 3. Yeah, you're smart, Ninja. <laughs> no, Raymarch, I'm just talking about behavior I've seen before and other stuff. Shadow of the Colossus. Crap, I haven't played that one in a while. I don't even remember it. I think I played it briefly at a friend's place. Yeah, in the Flame of the Flood, what did we do? It was a top-down game, but and you kind of had free cam. I don't think our camera on the river was never very good. We, it was a constant... Thummy and I actually like had conversations about the ability to thumbstick over. I never... Uh, I just thought we should cut it. Like, on the river you can technically use the thumbstick to look left or right, and it was just such a bad experience I thought we should just cut it entirely. He did some really cool stuff for when you're on the land, though, where if you go by an A location, it senses it, and it pulls the camera out. So you, you're, you're, and it kind of, like, there's a magnet camera between the free cam and when you're at an A location. So if you're, like, running by a church or something, the camera will pull out, and it'll kind of be aiming halfway between you, the player, and the church until you get a certain distance away and then the camera will go back will go back down and go into follow cam again. Um, we just need to do a lot of things like that for, I don't know, polish reasons. It's important. Camera shit, man. Gonna have super free cam with stupid clipping. Do you, man. I mean, that works too. That's expected. If you're gonna do like, are you doing third person? Yeah. I mean, World Warcraft Three was that that's when Dota came from. God, I remember the Dota kids. Holy shit, that was huge when I was in college. It's no wonder. Somebody, I I love the whole story of that too. The guys that made Dota. Before Ice Rock, Ice Rock took over, but the, the two guys initially, Mike Merrill, Mark Merrill, I think, and like some other dude, uh, they made Dota. It became a sensation. They handed it off to Ice Frog and went back to school. <laughs> Mark Merrill, I think, is the one that ended up getting like a business degree. And he's like, you know what, we should turn a business into this. And then he used that to get $5 million in venture capital. Made League of Legends. <laughs> Like, and somehow in the intervening years, nobody fucking took that formula and copied it. No one. Everyone's like, wow, Dota's huge. Guess we'll just go do something else. Like, nobody fucking copied it. Six years pass, and then they fucking go make League of Legends, which was honestly a better version of Dota by a lot. They shrunk the map, they added the grass, which totally changes the game. I thought when they came out with Dota 2, it was a huge step back compared to League of Legends. Um, yeah. And then with $5 million, they made 
the person who gave them five million dollars accident a hundred million dollars and then <laughs> they just they became fucking league of legends man like it's unbelievable the, oh, everything about that story is unbelievable i remember playing it during the beta it was like everything about that game is so implausible they fucking built their front end on adobe air like they had to re <laughs> they made so much money off of dota they basically rewrote the game a couple times like i know a couple of the programmers that went in and were like well we have a game it's live it's fantastic everyone loves it uh but it's on adobe air and the servers can't scale and like everything's we've built this in a house of sand just scrap it and start over and they just rebooted it and then at one point they rebooted the art and they just kept rebooting it and like I, it doesn't like it borderline doesn't make sense how successful they were and how they pulled that off and yeah now everybody wants to make well then everybody tried to copy them and make a MOBA but I don't know why people didn't jump on that back when Dota exploded in the first place. It makes no sense. <laughs> Sorry, let me read. Yeah. Pudge Wars. I don't even remember that one, Ninja. I don't remember any of these. Oh, I do remember Tower Defense. That was right. There's a couple of those. I wasn't super into those. No, I don't think it's negative at all. I think it's incredible that they built a fucking empire on something that used an Adobe Air front end. And like, honestly, I, their art in the beginning was like, not totally cohesive. If you look at the, some of the initial stuff comparatively, um, it was just really fun, like, really like in instantly fun. People put up with all the shit that it didn't matter that initially it didn't have a ranking system. And when it was in beta, like, the front end was crashing and garbage and the the art was like kind of i mean it was never terrible but it wasn't like it wasn't what it is now you know they just they made a fun game and then they just kept and they made a lot of money off of it and they just kept investing it back in the game and then it made more money and it just exploded it was incredible but the the incredible part about all of this isn't even that it's that they they made dota which was fun as fuck and then just kind of went back to school and then years passed and nobody did anything about Dota. And then they graduated school and then they fucking made League of Legends. Like how did the world just waited for them to do that, I guess. Like nobody, nobody jumped on that, which is crazy to me until they did. And then, then once they were like, by the way, you can get rich off this shit, then, then the world wanted in. Yeah, that's true, Michael Mayhem. Like, how do you take a product that's live and then re-architect it from the ground up? That's not trivial. Uh, but I mean, when you got the money they got. I, fuck it, I guess. Five million dollars of venture capital funding to make a free-to-play PC game, where their only monetization strategy is we're going to monetize <laughs> aesthetics, not even gameplay. That's so untested. That's the other thing. Everything about that is lunacy. I love it. <laughs> this industry, man. Well, I mean, even in the early days, in the beta, back when I played, uh, all the characters were unlocked because there was only 20 characters. In the beta, they ran the beta for a while. They just ate the server costs. Most of the money was eating the server costs of, and not selling anything initially in the beta. But again, the beta only had 20 characters. And I'm, you know, we're talking about the beta, but the beta was like a solid year. I remember playing back then. I remember when I was the top, or er, the fourth best Janna in the world when they first had their ranking system. But there weren't as many people playing back then. <laughs> so that wasn't just big of a deal. It was an open beta. Anybody could have, I don't know.
Yeah. I can't imagine anybody picking it up today, though. Like, from the beginning. Now, Michael, can you imagine? Like, coming online now and trying to, like... There's just so many characters. I don't know how you even begin. Riot's an interesting studio because they hire like crazy. They pay like crazy too. They, I think their goal at one point was like, we don't know what to do yet, so let's just hire the entire industry and see where it goes. <laughs> like they have so many people and they have so many projects they're starting and I, uh, so far they've made a board game. I mean, how do you follow up a success like that? They're in a tight spot too. I feel like they're, Blizzard came out with like, oh, what was their first one? Was it StarCraft or WarCraft? They had a hit initially and then they just kept coming out with more hits. Um, whereas League of Legends has stalled so long. Whatever they come out with, like the longer you wait, the more pressure you're putting on your next product. So their second product has to be up there, right? Like it's gotta be a certain caliber. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do. They hired up some famous fighting designers at one point. They also hired up, like, the designer from, um, what was it, down in Bioware, Texas, that made it, was it Mass Effect 2? The narrative person for that? I mean, they, they've hired some incredible top talent. Just kind of scattershot, though. Like, I don't know what's going on. I can only imagine a dozen product projects that have come and gone that never got to that quality bar. Like real. I think they could take their IP and the fact that they have a front end that has a shit ton of people and make like honestly I the initial thing to me was like, alright, Dota was huge and people had Dota leagues and stuff and uh, it was odd this was a mark that was screaming out for a um you know, like a, a polished product, and I kind of feel like Smash Brothers is that as well. I think everybody is kind of like, why the hell aren't you taking League of Legends, your talent and your your people, and making Smash Brothers out of like League of Legends characters? Uh, but they're not, so I don't know. Or maybe they are, and we don't know. I don't know. They haven't announced that they are. To me, that seems like an obvious like this is another game that isn't that like all the college kids play and make their own ladders and they're obsessed with and it's got this huge cult following, it's already an eSport um, and they... I don't know In Before Today, massive announcement Is that a joke or is that a massive announcement today? Probably not Saturday, right? <laughs> Smash Legends uh, That was what I thought they would do and they did hire up some famous fighting designers, so maybe they'll go after like the Mortal Kombat franchise. Maybe they'll stick into the esports. I don't know. It's fun to speculate, though. It's fun to wonder. Maybe that's the thing, maybe they're afraid of like trying Smash and failing, because it is... I don't... I mean, it's not like it's an unpolished game. Dota, the original one, was so unpolished. And people were still like making ladders and loving it and stuff. Whereas you don't really have that with Dota. Dota... or sorry, you don't have that with Smash. Smash is polished. So maybe there's that. It's hard to say. Well, what are we gonna do about you, huh? Let's make this.
the shit. Seems you're not nervous. Yeah. Smash is just so easy to look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see a Diablo like, given the camera angle and the control scheme. I don't know, I feel like if they go with a non PvP game. Hmm, maybe. It's hard to say. Also, majority owned by Tencent now, right? I'm not sure if that matters. It's definitely hard to say. infrastructure to make an eSport. Not many people do. That's their unfair advantage. And they have a captive audience that likes eSports. So not leveraging that is really kind of wasteful. I feel like they'll most likely make something competitive. Something that has a chance of being an eSport. Or at a minimum co-op. I mean, they've invested so much work into their infrastructure for these, like, into having massive servers and things. They could make an MMO, for instance. I'm not sure if there's as much interest in MMOs as there used to be. Well, the Warcraft is kind of flash in a pan. I mean, that's not true. It's just people keep coming up with different ways to do online games that are cheaper. 
and give users the same kind of experience that they hope for out of an MMO. I don't know. It's really easy to sit here and like speculate on what Riot should do. It's a lot harder because if you're actually them and you have their kind of pressure, especially at the top level, I imagine. Makes you think League won't die fast. I could. There's a time when we thought MySpace was the shit. <laughs> I mean, we've seen things die quickly all the time. You saw PUBG just like went from being top of the world to not even close to top of the world the second Fortnite had their battle royale. And to be fair, there's nothing to say that Fortnite won't go the same way as soon as there's a new sexy battle royale, you know? Like, you don't know. People shift and they move as a unit sometimes. And it, it is generally a thing, especially with these games. So these games live and die based on you play what your friends are playing, right? If enough of your friends move over to a new game, then you move over to a new game, and then your friends move over to a new game, it's easy to create a wave like that. I'm not saying it'll happen, I'm just saying it's like not outside the realm of possibility. My concern is that Tencent wouldn't want another esports potential since League of Legends is so big. Hit a different audience. Or just announce League of Legends 2. Interesting. Reboot League of Legends. Reset it back down to 10 playables. Something like that. It would give the opportunity for new players to come aboard, which is not a bad thing. possible scenario play Rocket League man like being an indie game developer is stressful don't get me wrong but like there's no gamble like multiplayer the stakes are so high they're just so fucking high like you hit or you don't and you spend a crap ton of money making those games Hey Jenny, what's up? Speaking of which, shout out to my homeboys at Dauntless. Play that game. I have friends that worked on that game. They don't need your help. Their servers are crashing already, but fucking sweet game, guys. Michael, I knew, um, so, who was it? Snipe. Don't go wrong, super talented guy. Uh, I love him. He just, he just a lot of the environment art in Bash Rock Infinite. He's, he crushed it. He, uh, has a cousin. Was it a cousin? It was family. I think it was a cousin. It's like, yeah, you know, we're hiring an effects artist. This is back when Irrational, we were working on Bioshock Infinite on the DLC. It's like, yeah, my cousin's an effects artist, and I know we need an effects artist, and I really think we should hire him. Uh, he'd be perfect for the role. He's super talented. I just need to get him off of this game. He's working on some shitty indie game. Um, it's like, I don't know, it's like fucking car sports or something. It's terrible. Uh, I want to get him in here and apply, and if... He might not seem super excited in the interview because, you know, I'm forcing him to do it, but just trust me, like, we need to hire this guy. We need to get him. He, he, he belongs here. He's really talented. And this indie thing is, is, he's doing is, is stupid as shit. Like, it's going to fall apart in a month. So let's just hire, let's just, you know, interview him now. And, uh, yeah, his cousin was working at Rocket League. Yeah. Snipe, like, did not call that correctly. It's just like, and then we all got laid off. So Snite's cousin fucking called it, working on a uh, shitty game about sports and also racing. I'm trying to remember Snite's exact words. He pitched it so badly. He was like, yeah, it's like about cars and sports and stuff. <laughs> oh God. We have no idea what's going to hit in this industry. It's full random sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. It's a hard game to pitch. 
I think there's some games where you just gotta be like, play this. Just play it. I can't fucking describe this game in words. Like, I'm bad at words already. Like, from the beginning, so. But like, that eludes me. I'm watching the press describe it, they're hilarious. <laughs> I'm gonna let them figure it out and then I'll copy what they say. They're supposed to be good with the words. All right, what am I doing? I Do I want this to be like an outline? Like a blotch, what do I want to do here? I definitely don't want it to be that thick. make these decisions. This is too thick. Sure. I never moved it. I need to clean this up so bad. I'm also in the wrong spot entirely. There. I think it's experimental.
Hey Alf, what's up, man? Oh shit. I do it almost every stream, I know it nearly by heart now. What? Your mouse's feature turned on that forces 100% vertical and 100% movement. Oh, are you guys talking about how the strokes don't look straight? Yeah, that has been a constant thing, you're right. I should fix that. You're accurate in your assessment of that fact. Fact. I'm trying to find where I put all the blotches. Blotch. Okay, not that. I'm like the source asset, dumbass. Yeah, art source player experimental. Not he oh, not PNG. Duh, that's why it's not showing up. There we go. Okay. F. Launch F. This is gonna get stretched to shit anyway, so may not matter so much. Ray March. Though you are correct, I should stop being a lazy piece of shit and figure that out. Source player experimental. F texture. All right, so we're done here. Hate it, so there's that. I just need to make this, I don't know, I guess thinner. And yeah, it's just gonna be just gonna be thinner in the mesh. No way around it. It's basically a line. I don't know what I wanted here. Just want something more. Especially interesting than that. Oh, sorry, you said that kind is hard to describe. This is kind. Kind is a 3D puzzle game about a tree of musicians. This is Rue. She is adorable. Yeah, that's true. I do have kind of a script now. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair. Uh, yeah. So, too much coffee, it turns out, if you're uh, not streaming and also not rendering. Um, 
the GPU is just fine. <laughs> that was a huge part of it. Uh, there's still optimization I can do, but I'm down to 60 FPS most of the time, so I'm not super stressed about it. Alright. This is not... Going... Oh, it's only 15 days for free? Fuck that. I could plug in my Wacom tablet. Oh, weird. Cool. Oh shit, that's cool. Mate. <laughs> My god, this is cool. I don't even think this is cool, though. We're just gonna make Raymarch sad. We're just gonna deal with the fact that he's sad and uh, keep making shitty lines. All right, no we're not. Oh, that thing, that was something somebody linked to me at some point as a way to calm down my mouse. Cause my mouse kinda, you know what, I'll install it. Let's have fun. I don't wanna buy it. I don't know how much it is. I'm just being a princess about this. So it's free for 15 days. I'll install it. We'll see if it's uh. See if it's actually a virus. Yes. Closed. Calm your shit. Gion. All right. Oh my god, that is so much smoother. Wow, that was like instant. I have it set on smoothing, subtle. Gears. <laughs> this is the gears. Oh, I might like this a lot, actually. <laughs> this is cool. Shit. Misc fuzzy. Oh, crap. I should have done this ages ago. Always listen to Raymarge. He's smart. Okay, I don't like that, though. Just the bad thing. Okay. Fish eye perspective. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Cool. Fucking weird. Cool. What the hell is this? Smoothing massive. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to be massively smooth. Sweet. Pulling a string. Oh look, it dangles. <laughs> Alright, right. right, gotta stop. <laughs> this is good. Let's just keep it subtle. Yeah, I can... Uh, 
Speed pressure. So this is more pressure based on speed. Yeah, I'm not, the brush I'm using doesn't have any pressure settings, but I bet it can. That's pretty cool. smoother. Holy shit. Okay, I might buy this. This is fun. How much are you? Thirty-five bucks. You know I'm probably gonna buy this. I'll wait till the subscription runs out and then I'm sad. And then I'll wait till I really need it and then I'll buy it. thing. I don't know which thing. Alright, is there a brush that uses... This hooks into the dude. This is something that you could have way too much fun with. I could get lost in this, especially the scripting stuff. Hey, Pro Puke, what's up, man? With a proper brush. Alright. Raymarch wants to see it. should be pressure settings here. I don't use this stuff much. Let's, let's stop clattering around here, guys. Let's get this. Let's get this going. Um, what was I doing? Smoothing subtle. Uh, a little less subtle.
be a bull, but whatever. Scalar parameter. World aligned. Why? Flip this around. By default, you're one. Isn't this vertex animating? Ah, oh, yes, I know why. I have the vertex animation scaling based on the the UV the coordinates in U in the second UV set. And since this didn't have a second UV set, it was scaling to zero. cooler back when we had like well several things have to happen here
It sucks that there's no 3D UVs. What would you do with them? I'm confused. What? In what respect? I've never, I'm not even familiar with the concept, to be honest. Is there like a cigarette paper on this or something? You need three coordinates. Oh, yeah. So... You're trying to tie data to a vertice and you're using UVs because they're more precise than vert colors. Yeah. <laughs> really bringing up the discourse in this chat here, guys.
I asked that question and then I ghosted on you, Ray March. Sorry, dude. Oh god, there's been so much, I'm sorry. Uh, hey, Force of Will, what's up? Thanks. Ninja, you guys talk about your stuff, that's cool. Right now I'm working on the, the background pro puke. Working on the curtain for, I don't know, no reason. Decided to do that. Hey, core activities, what's up, dude? We're creating plain old stuff in real time. Oh. Hmm. Oh, my legs fall asleep. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I got old people problems over here, guys. <laughs> old people problems like, whoa. Oh, it's completely falling asleep. Oh, I can't have. There we go. Feeling's coming back. Alright, I should. I'm gonna wrap this up and then I'm gonna go for a walk and get some lunch.
Hmm. Why does it not work at all down here? It just looks like shit. Weird. Maybe that's fine. That's not a cat, that's a kid screaming. I can understand. Children make weird noises. Somewhere in the distance, I think one of my, uh, some of the people renting the house next door. <laughs> there might be a hungry little child. That is entirely possible. Oh, I don't want to go for a walk. I want to keep working on this, but if I don't get circulation in my legs, I will rapidly decay and eventually die. That's why it's not looking right, because it's one of those. Entirely. That's news. Uh, oh, I see.
I'm just adding a different kind of variation to this one. Like maybe just randomize you a bit. What the hell is that?
worry, Marge. I hate to freak you out, man, but you were once a child. game at least. Nope, don't like it at all. Hate it. Dislike it. Want to go back like a hundred steps. How far back can I go? Should have copied this or saved it before I did this. That's as far back as I can go. Fuck. Saving backups of this. Where's auto save?
Press save enabled to the project. What is the project? File. Tumble. Search everything. Auto save. There is one in Tumble Art Source. Tumble Art Source. Auto save. Sure, let's check it out. Hot diggity damn. Yeah, I think I'll stop here. Go get food. Save this as... Props. Main stage curtain. Six two. Yeah, you're the one. And we're good. All right. I require nourishment. Hey, where we at? I'm just heading out, man. I apologize, you have joined at an inopportune moment. It hasn't even been three hours, but I'm starving. Well, it is one o'clock and I haven't eaten. I ate a small breakfast, so that is reasonable. Let's see. Ah, how do things work? Twitch. Ooh, you guys wanna hang out with Jonathan Blow? Or do you wanna hear a cellist? want to hang out. He hasn't been playing in a while. No, it's cool. He's just chatting right now. I might come back later. I don't know yet. Depends. But thank you for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Wait, what did I miss? Nothing. You guys are just being goofballs. I am bordering on hangry now that I realize how hungry I am. Jesus Christ. Hey, Sarah, 88. It's nice to meet you too. Oi. Or mice. That works. Either way. Hey, Jenny. Thanks for lurking. Ah, oh, what are we for lunch?
These are the kinds of deep questions that plague me. I have no avocado. There's a farmer's market. I should walk to the farmer's market. I should put on real people clothes and go to the farmer's market. Get five apples for a dollar. is the entirety of the plan. And then I will just eat of it. The farmer's market. You guys have fun. Uh,